My name is Jeffrey Zwern, and I'm the president of IDS Research and Development Incorporated. This video recording is copyrighted by IDS Research and Development Incorporated. This testing relates to UL 985 entitled Household Fire Warning System Units, the fifth edition dated May 26, 2000, the sixth edition dated May 15, 2015, and the effective edition date of UL 985 for the sixth edition dated May 15, 2019. Section 41.3, section 41.3.1.3, section 41.3.1.6, section 44.4, section 44.4.1, and section 44.4.2 do not appear in the fifth edition of UL 985. They do appear in the sixth edition of UL 985, which had an effective date of May 15, 2019. Under section 41.3, it states combination control unit. Under section 41.3.1.3, it states short circuit or open circuit single faults in the non-fire equipment or in the wiring between the non-fire equipment and the fire alarm system shall not impede or impair the monitoring for integrity of the fire alarm system nor impede or impair any fire alarm signal transmissions or operations. Under section 41.3.1.6 of the 6th edition of UL 985 it states the required operation of the fire alarm equipment shall not be impaired by any failure of the non-fire alarm equipment, hardware, software, or circuits, or by any maintenance procedure, including removal or replacement of defective equipment or powering down of the non-fire equipment. Under section 44.4 of UL 985 in the sixth edition, it references keypads. Under section 44.4.1, under the 6th edition of UL 985, it states, Keypads and other operator interfaces shall be monitored for integrity so that within 200 seconds, a distinctive audible trouble signal will indicate the occurrence of a single break open or a single ground fault in the in interconnections, which would prevent the intended operation of the system for alarms, alarm transmissions to a supervising station, or the, or the signal repre representative of a failure to complete a signal transmission with the supervising station. The trouble enunciation shall be at the operator interface or audible at the operator interface. Prior to the application of a, of a fault, the control unit shall be energized in the intended standby condition while connected to a rated source of voltage and frequency. In the exception section under section 44.4.1 of the sixth edition of UL 985, it states, supervision is not required for keypad interconnections to the control unit extending not more than 3 feet 0.91 meters from the control unit. Under section 44.4.2 of UL 985 it states, Annunciation of the audible trouble signal required by section 44.4.1 is permitted to be remote from an operator interface. When the product's installation instructions alert the user that the product sounding the audible is to be installed in a location where the audible signal can be heard at the operator interface. Again, this comes from UL 985 with an effective date of May 15, 2019 from the 6th edition. This testing will prove this control panel does not comply with UL 985 as follows. I'm going to throw a short across the auxiliary power of the burglar alarm circuit. When I do this, there is no audible or visual trouble indication at the protected premises from any of the keypads. The sounders in these keypads are integral to the keypad itself. So there's no technical way that there can be any audibility, visually or otherwise, from the system keypads.
The wireless receiver becomes non-functional. The zone expander becomes non-functional. And the wireless radio alarm transmitter becomes non-functional. Therefore, this proves and demonstrates that the control panel does not comply with UL 985 in the respective sections identified.